The mauling of a woman by four pit bulls Saturday in Northeast Oklahoma City has animal control looking at the dog's history of violence. Turns out officers have had a run in with those dogs before, but they never ended up on the city's dangerous dog registry. News 9's Carl Torp found out why. Animal Welfare says this weekend's events should remind neighbors that they need to be more accountable if they want to see these dangerous dogs better locked up or gone altogether. The graphic scene, hard to erase. Two dogs mauling and killing 82-year-old Cecile Short and her dog in April of last year. After the gruesome attack, the city vowed to keep better tabs on dangerous dogs. And since August 2017, a registry has been kept. Every year they're going to have to register their dog, let us know where they're living, and let us know the, if the dog is still with them. Lynn Huffman with Animal Welfare says since August 1st, 40 dogs have been deemed dangerous and three more deemed menacing, where dogs have shown aggression but haven't attacked. The only one that can legally say that a dog is deemed dangerous or menacing is a judge. And there is the challenge. If you want a dog deemed dangerous, you have to make the complaint and be willing to testify in court. And that's where Hoffman says folks get reluctant. A lot of people want to try to be the good neighbor, you know, and, and keep the neighborly things open. And that eventually might end up putting them in danger. Animal welfare had previously been called on the dogs who attacked Terry Cosby this weekend. Someone was actually bit. And the bite victim did a failure to confine at that time. Failure to confine, though, never got the case in front of a judge and never got the animals removed from the neighborhood. If you're truly afraid of the dogs that are in your neighborhood, be willing to stand up and go to court. On the scene, on the story, Carl Torp, News 9.